the elimination of slavery, the elimination of Jim Crow laws, all of that progress had to be put into law. It had to actually be codified because nobody could rely on the kindness of a white person's heart, on white people to just do the right thing, to have empathy, to behave the same towards everyone of every background. There had to be a legal rule. And what the Supreme Court, this new hard right white supremacist court is going to try to do is decodify all of those protections. Um, You know, they're going to do this to gay and lesbian people. They're going to do this to a variety of ethnic and and racial minorities. And it's going to eventually come down into voting rights. And we may get our first taste of this, unfortunately, when the election actually happens, um, because it's very clear at this point that Trump wants the Supreme Court to decide the election. He does not want the American people to decide the election. You're already seeing Kavanaugh citing Bush versus Gore. We already, as, as Andrea has noted many times, have three justices on the court that participated in Bush versus Gore. And so that's... Um, that's terrifying in its own right, but the thing sort of eating away at me is, you know, we know what the the short term goal of this group is. It's tyranny of the minority. It is a one party autocratic state ruled by a white supremacist death cult. And you know, we've been saying that for a while, and people I think thought we were exaggerating or overstating things. Welcome to over 220,000 dead Americans. And scientists say about 130,000 of those deaths could have been easily prevented had the federal government not had a policy of let's let them die off. I mean, that unfortunately, that is their guiding ethos. They want to make money. They want to consolidate power. And it's easier for them to do that if we're dead. 